Motion question 1. The graph below shows the velocity of a lift going from floor 1 to floor 3. Part A. Calculate the distance travelled by the lift. Well, distance travelled is equal to the area under a velocity time graph. And this shape can be broken down into a triangle, a rectangle and another triangle. The area of a triangle is half times the base times the height. And so the area of this total shape is a half times 2 for the base of A times 1.5 the height of A. The area of B is a height of 1.5. The length goes to 6.5 from 2 and so has a length of 4.5. Area C half times the base of 1.5 times the height of 1.5 giving a total area of 9.375 metres. which we could quote rounded to 9.4 meters. I've copied the graph again here for part B. Calculate the initial acceleration of the lift. Well, acceleration is given by the gradient of a velocity time graph and here we have a change in y of 1.5 meter per second, a change in x of 2.0 seconds. So the gradient is 1.5 over 2, which is 0.75 meters per second squared. Part C. Given that the tension in the cable during the period of constant velocity is 12,000 newtons, calculate the mass of the lift. Well, during the constant velocity, the only acceleration to consider is that due to gravity and using F equals MA we can rearrange to M is force over acceleration we've got the force of 12,000 newtons from here and the acceleration is acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meters per second squared giving a mass of 1223 kilograms Part D calculate the tension in the cable while the lift is accelerating. Well again using F equals MA we have the mass of 1223 kilograms the acceleration of the lift 0.75 meters per second squared and this will add on to the acceleration due to gravity which is in the other direction giving a force of 12915 newtons. Part 2. Calculate the tension in the cable while the lift is decelerating at 1 meter per second squared. Well, now, again using F equals MA, the mass of 1223 kilograms, but now the deceleration needs taking away from the acceleration due to gravity, giving a force of 10775 newtons. You'll be familiar with this effect when you travel in a lift, as the lift sets off going up you tend to feel heavier and as the lift slows down as it reaches the floor you want you tend to feel lighter. While the lift travels at a constant speed between floors you feel normal weight. Part E. Calculate the power supplied to the lift while travelling at constant velocity. Well, power is given by force multiplied by velocity and at constant velocity the force was 12,000 newtons and the velocity 1.5 meters per second giving a power of 18,000 watts